YouTube, I'm Ashley Kay, and this is going to be my kind of get ready with me, slash get to know me, slash it wasn't really about me, it was more so about local ambition, but I'm Ashley Kay. I am a model and actress out of the St. Louis area, so I am not like most YouTubers because I'm not in LA. And I'm here to kind of give you guys a little bit of everything. So today it's kind of just going to be a get ready with me and how some of you might know me slash where I come from and I'm just going to be doing this makeup look so I'm not going to really be focusing on the makeup look I'm going to be more talking about local ambition and talking about myself a little bit because I'm a tomboy from the Midwest I'm this rough and tough wild child that grew up to become a model acting's always been my dream and modeling is just like still frame acting it's a lot easier a lot slower and a lot more times you get to try again so, if you want to see how I got this look, then go ahead, stay tuned. And I will be posting a lot more videos. It is going to be a lot of random stuff from makeup looks, from maybe tutorials if you're interested. I still don't feel like I'm in a position to be teaching anybody how to do anything yet. But I can do tutorials if you want. I can do challenges. I can do vlogging, like basic go outs. Um, I do have a couple other stars on the show from Local Ambition coming on the channel. Like, I know I have something scheduled with Katarina, um, who's going to be on this upcoming season. And, and I know I have stuff scheduled with Nikki Serenity coming up soon, so stay tuned. Hit that bell if you want to see it. If you're not sure who Nikki Serenity is, go look her up. I'll leave some of her information down below. She was the season six winner of Local Ambition. So go ahead and watch that, guys. So... Stay tuned, let's do this look together. Why do you want to get ready with me, you might be asking. Who are you? Wh where are you from? Why would I want to even watch this? Well, sorry, I have my mirror over here. That's what I'm going to be looking at. I'm Ashley Kay. I am a model and actress from St. Louis area. I, you may recognize me from Local Ambition. If you haven't seen Local Ambition yet, what are you doing? Like, why not? I'll put the link in my description box below, so get on that. It is a modeling competition reality show, kind of like America's Next Top Model, so there's the competition, but everything else around the show is staged. So like there's drama, there's action, there's rivalries, there's alliances, and that stuff's all planned. But the competition part's all real. So I was on season six, I had a cameo, and then I was on a contestant on season seven. Just in case anybody's wondering, I will tell you guys what I'm using. This is the professional. The this is the the pink one. I forgot what it's called. Like the it's supposed to be the dewy one. So the more illuminating one that I'm using today. Excuse my terrible chipped black nails. As I said earlier, I'm a model. I know better. Please don't come at me. But it is what it is, and I have to get to know you guys. But I actually have another video that I have to film after this, so can't wait until I get my better camera tomorrow or my better audio or anything like that because, you know, I'm a procrastinator and I told Chelsea that I was going to film her video for her yesterday. So here we are. Now I am using Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Beige. It is pretty close to my color. I like this stuff a lot actually for drugstore. It's pretty awesome. So I got my damp beauty sponge that we're going to use. Of course it's damp. I'll move my mirror over here so I can look while I talk. But local ambition. So there's 11 contestants. All 11 contestants um, have four stages. Not all of them because you get eliminated. But you have four stages. My season when I competed, my four stages were post-apocalypse, boudoir, or however you say that, lingerie, French for bedroom, somebody who's French helped me out. Um, that... Maybe it's just French for bed. Not sure. Um, and then stage three was your own superhero slash super villain. And then stage four is always the fashion slash designer final round. So last season I was a finalist. So I did do all four rounds each photo shoot. So say if like round one post apocalypse, we had to come up with our own interpretation of what post apocalypse meant of what we wanted it to represent, what we wanted it to look like, and then come up with our own costumes, put it all together, do everything on our own, and then we went to a location, so all 11 models for round one had the same location, 
we were not allowed to see each other's photo shoots. So you had to show up, you had to come up with your own poses, and then your pictures were sent off to judges that had no idea about the show, that had no idea who any of the characters were, no idea what was going on. They were just basically told, hey, pick your favorite and eliminate two. What would, who'd you pick? And then the director of the TV show went over all of their votes, and his name's Kevin Edwards. Um, so Kevin went over all of the judges and picked the overall ruling, what it was. And there was always an odd number of judges, so it was always, like, a deciding factor. Like, there always somebody, you know? I don't know how it worked. It was pretty clear when somebody went home, all of the judges agreed that that one person should go home. I'm not sure how they work, because I'm not a judge, I'm a model. So we were judged on posing, so how our poses looked, and that's all a whole different video on its own. We were judged on creativity, so how our... You know, our story, our background, our design, our costume, our idea, creativity, and then variety. So was all of our poses the same? Was all of our faces the same? Did we bring a bunch of different pictures to the judges, basically, or did they all look the same? So that is how that went. That's pretty cool. Um, now I'm going to drink out of my coffee cup real quick. It's pretty cute. Sorry for those terrible sounds. Oh. Okay. So, next I'm going to go into concealer, because I do do my concealer. Doo-doo. Hee-hee. <laughs> um, sorry, I never find that funny, but I finally caught myself saying it, and nobody pointed it out to me. When other people point it out to me, I'm like, seriously. Seriously. But, as most of you already know what this is, this is the Tarte Shape Tape, as you can tell by the lid. I'm using that shade Light. I am actually fairly fair. So I do use light and it actually blends in. It took me forever to find out what shade I am because I had to, I was trying to get cool toned because, or warm toned, and I never realized that I'm neutral toned because cool tones kept looking too bluish on me and warm tones kept looking too reddish, I guess, on me. Oh, dogs are barking. Yo, you will hear the dogs bark every video that I ever do. Only can do this with the dogs barking. All right, I'm just gonna blend this in. So we're just gonna blend this in. I put it on my eyelids. Normally, I use Urban Decay eyelid primer, but not today, because all I have to do is film my video for Chelsea in a minute, so I don't need to stay all night. I'm going to wipe it off right after I'm done filming Chelsea's video, so there's no point. I am just using some powder. It's actually banana powder, so it's a little yellowish to set under my eyes. So that way it doesn't crease, and that way I'm not baking, because there's not a lot. You don't see it caked on. It's not going to sit there for a second, because I don't think you see it caked on. But I'm just going to let that sit for a second. I'm going to push it into my skin. That way I don't crease. And I use the banana powder, so it's a little yellowish, to counteract my really dark blue under eyes. And that was Derma Blend, the banana powder. So I'm not really a fan of the loose powder or of setting yet. I'm working on that, so we'll get used to that. <laughs> so, next I go into my eyes, and I am using Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, and I am a freak. I've used this thing a hundred times, but I always put it back in the box. I put it back in its bubble wrap. It's just so perfect. So I'm using the Bling Boss. This is some of her Vault palette. Look, I even keep the plastic on. This is her Vault palette, the ones that she didn't release in her real- ooh, let's try that again. Her Vault palette, this is one she didn't release in her, uh, main palette that she did with Morphe. So then she came out with the Vault, which was like four different palettes, all ten colors, so they are all ones that she wanted to put in there, decided not to, so she put them in separate ones, all by Color Story, which I love this purple color story, it really brings out my green eyes dig it. We are going to put it on. 
So first I'm going to go in Hush Hush, this color here. And we're just going to swirl it on the brush. This is a Profusion double-ended brush. It doesn't have a name or numbers or anything like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and pack it into my crease. I actually bring my crease up almost all the way to the brow bone. Because this space here, between right here and here, I have a lot of space there. Uh, most people don't have that much space there, so they don't need to bring it all the way up. If you just stay in the crease, that is usually enough. But I like to take it up to make it look like this part of my eye is bigger, and then this part is not so big. So basically, I create my own crease where I want it. So I definitely go way up higher, like I said, almost to the brow bone. When I open my eyes and look up, I want it to be seen right here. So that's what I do with that transition shade. Transition shade. It's usually the lightest color in the color scheme of your eyes that you're doing. Uh, usually a really soft brown. I'm not really a neutral kind of person. If I'm gonna sit here and spend all this time doing my makeup, I'm gonna be glam and I'm gonna do it all the way. Now that I haven't been using the Urban Decay, or that I didn't use it today, and I notice a difference. It's not like there's no pigment, because Morphe and Jaclyn Hill are incredible, so there's never the issue of no pigment with this palette. It's just that it's not setting like it did. It's, I don't know, the Urban Decay is grippier, and holds on better, I guess. But, I got my base here. I'm pretty happy with it. I always try to do a really exaggerated outer V, too. But we'll see that once I start putting in more color. So... Next I'm gonna go in with Rockstar, and I'm using the other side of the brush. I can basically use this one brush for my whole eye look. And this one I'm going to pack more into the crease, like the actual crease of my eye. So we're gonna go ahead and Pack that into the real crease and a little bit higher. Keep the lid space as open as possible. That's not really that open, but the shimmer is almost the same color. And then I flipped it back over, back to that first side I used, and I'm just blending. So back in for the other eye, right into the crease. I almost go up at an angle, so that way it goes like up into my brow bone. Instead of like going that way, I tap like where my brow bone is, because if you can see, that's it. It's probably not good for your eyes. That's my brow bone. So I just tap like that direction and then I take the other side and I just blend. 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 This is where everything comes together. The blend. The blend. The blend. And then I'm going to take it down to this corner. Really dark into the corner. I want to make sure it's on this corner. Okay. So then I'm going to go into this Mystic because it's a little bit darker of a purple, deeper of a purple. And we're just going to go back into that outer corner right here. And we're just going to shade. And we're just going to shade. And blend. But a year ago today, I had no idea what contour was. Oh, I remember now. It was probably had to have been watching James Charles and the Unleash Your Inner Artist because my whole life, like I said, I am a glam girl. I mean, if I'm doing it, I'm doing it. And if I'm doing it, I'm doing bold colors. I want to do rainbows on my eyes. And I've never, ever found a palette that has a true, bright, vibrant, pigmented red. Ever. Until James Charles and Morphe met up and they came out with, you're kidding. And I need that palette. But, I'll get it one day. It'll happen. It'll come to me. And I'll catch it when it's in stock and I'll get one and you guys will see the most crazy looks. But, I never, I normally never do anything neutral. Anything plain. Anything easy. Because that's what I am. So, then I'm going to take Ballsy. I'm going to spray it. Got my Master Fix Plus spritzer. We're going to... Just wet my brush a little, and my couch a little, too. That's how we do things here. We're gonna go, what I say, ballsy? Yeah, let's go into ballsy. And then I just pack it onto the lid. There's really no packing there, is it? Okay. 
let's pick up some more color. I need to go get my Fix Plus, but I didn't want to waste it because, like I said, I'm doing this to film another video. If I was, like, going somewhere after this or doing something with my life, then I could justify it. But, I'm not. So, I finally got my Fix Plus, which, oh my gosh, not sponsored, incredible. Why would anyone sponsor me? I have one video. By the time you're watching this, I have one video. And it's this one! So thanks for joining me. I forgot this is more like a get ready with me. I have never been into girly things. Most of my friends haven't either. We're all just kind of like little tomboy. Back to what I was saying. I Nobody ever came out with that vibrant red. So now that James Charles did and I started watching a lot more of his videos, the whole Unleash Your Inner Artist, I realized that makeup really is an art and that if you go forth putting the effort of doing it, that's pretty awesome. So the fact that you did it, I'm probably going to tell you it's pretty cool. And then if you want tips, sure, I'll tell you how to make your winged eyeliner a little straighter from what I've learned. Or I'll tell you why when you do what all the other people do, your doesn't look the same because your face is different than everyone's and you have to do it to your face. Like that's what took me so long to learn. I could not do makeup. I was bad at makeup. It took me so long to realize that you just have to practice and you have to learn your own face. And then for eyeliner, I'm just Ico London. It's either that's where I draw the line or I do liquid eyeliner. Not sure which one it is, but it's Ico and I like Ico's liquid eyeliner. These are all basically like my backups that I'm using except for like my Tarte Shape Tape and a few others. This is like basically my travel bag because this is all good enough that I can do a whole face on, but not my top of the line. Because like I said again, I'm only doing a video. I'm not using my top of the line everything. So I'm just going to do a quick little wing. Should talk about something rather relevant. It's a big wing. So. Last season on Local Emission, we were on a big screen. We had our first two episodes play at a movie theater. We were published internationally in magazines, most of the models, or some of the models. Oh, this is so hard. So I have deep set eyes, which means my eyes sit further back into my skull than most people's eyes. Which are why I always look like I have deep dark circles under my eyes. Which is why if I do the cat liner and then look up, all you see is a weird little line. You don't see the liner. Which this, if I do it more straight out, you can see. No matter which way I look. But, so Chelsea's got a YouTube channel. So if you haven't seen Chelsea's channel, it's in the description box below. It'll probably pop up right here if I'm good enough at that yet. And she is having me do her video on her channel about do's and don'ts of working with photographers. So what to look for, what's red flags, you know, what base is a good photographer and not a good photographer. Ooh, that looks terrible. It's okay, we can make it happen. We can bring it back. I shouldn't talk and do this at the same time. This is not good. Not good at all. This is me showing you guys. You can really, really butcher makeup. And bring it back if you have decent makeup because it blends. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. So I'm using the Tarte Tartus Pro and I freaking love it minus the fact that my nose is so dark. My bad. I'll fix that. The video I told you guys that I'm getting ready to do for Chelsea's channel which a pop up here. Link it down below. You should go check it out. Chelsea is having me speak on modeling you know, if you're interested in getting into modeling, if you know anyone that is, what to look for, do's and don'ts of working with photographers, what are red flags, what's normal in the industry, what to expect, what to prepare for, things like that, just so that way you guys have an understanding. That way you know some things photographers say are not always true and you know when to be like, hey, no, I'm not doing that, or hey, okay, this is a good opportunity. So, if you want to check that out, I'm going to link it down below, since it'll be up before this one. 
but we will talk about that, which that's pretty awesome. I'm glad that Chelsea's doing a bunch of stuff. She's trying to revolve it a lot around the show and a lot around, you know, basic modeling, basic being in this industry. Chelsea's channel is going to be a lot of behind the scenes of Local Ambition 8 because we are both there for 8. We do have a lot of the returning cast coming back for 8. So we have like behind the scenes. We have a video up now that's us pranking people. I was running around with little clips and clipping them like little clothespin clips. So we have that on camera trying to see how many we can get on people before they would notice. We have my video I'm getting ready to do, like I was just talking about. We Chelsea's going to have a lot of the stars try to be on there. I'm going to have a lot of the stars from last season and this new upcoming season on my channel. So, I know I'm going to have a get ready with me with one of the new stars coming up. I think I'm going to have a shopping date with Nikki Serenity coming up. We can probably do like a little Q&A kind of thing. So, probably need to fix that eyeliner a little. But, push, do, 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 do. Then I'm just going to go in with some quick mascara, so I'll be right back on this. Okay, so I don't wear falsies, ever. Just because every makeup artist I've ever- They're like, oh, don't worry, we'll put some on you. And then as soon as they put mascara on, they're like, you don't need any false lashes. We're not putting lashes on you. Anybody that ever puts lashes on you, you should run away from. And this is the before and after, which this is Tarte Man Eater, which is the- I love it because it doesn't transfer. And I have such- long lashes that when I put it on and I look around, it transfers everywhere. So, that's what I'm using. Let me do the other eye real quick. Let me do okay. So I feel like this purple look really brings out the green eyes a lot. So, that is the majority of the face. I think I'm going to put on this purplish matte nude look color. Okay, so I just put on this lip. It was Huda Beauty Liquid Matte. It is Muse in the shade Muse. It's a little more purple than I wanted. I'm starting to get a little drowned out in all the purple, but I do love a dark lip. So I always rocked a dark eye and a bold eye, bold eye, and a bold lip. And I just recently found out you're not allowed to do that. And I make my own rules. So um, I'm just using my Master Fix to drown myself, uh, blind myself a little. Alright. Wet my face a tiny bit, and then I'm going back into my Tarte Tartist with my highlighting. We're going into Strobe. I'm just gonna get that cheekbone right there. And again, it's just knowing your face, so it's knowing your cheekbone right there. That's where I like the light to hit. Hopefully soon I'll have a monitor so I can actually see if any of this is like lighting up or not or see what I'm doing with my life but hey it'll all be tomorrow and again gotta film today so you do what you do not digging the highlighter in the middle maybe 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 so instead I'm using my mirror that's why you guys keep seeing me look down can dig this. I'm gonna go do my stars like I normally do because that is who I am and I stay true to me. So I'm gonna go throw. So thank you everybody. This is the final look. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see actual makeup tutorials, even though I don't feel like I'm at a position to where I can teach anybody yet, let me know. Also, don't forget to check out Chelsea's video. The whole reason I did a whole face of makeup. Again, the link's down below. Make sure you check it out because it's going to be awesome. If you've ever had any interest in modeling, if you want to get into modeling, if you know somebody in modeling, if you're just curious, go check it out. The do's and don'ts, how to look for photographers, what you're looking for, and the whole nine yards. Go check it out. Thanks, guys.